Hey there, Corporate Misfits, and welcome to the series Mastering Kajabi in 21 Days. I'm so excited to share with you about how you can use Kajabi in your online coaching, your course creation, or membership business so that you can build a life of freedom and stop trading time for money. So if you are new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington and I'm the founder of the Corporate Misfit Community and I help women to build their online business using platforms like Kajabi so that they can automate, create sales with ease and ultimately build their courses and coaching business and sharing their expertise with their tribe. So in this series, we're going to talk all about how to use Kajabi inside and out, the perks of using Kajabi and how it can really change your life. So if you have not tried out Kajabi yet, I do have a trial which supports this channel. And also you can get some amazing resources such as landing pages that we have designed for you, such as sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in, and also some registration and tripwire pages. In addition to that, you can get access to our mini training, which is our beta launch club, which allows you to learn how to launch a online course or a coaching business in just 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into what we're gonna talk about in today's lesson. Okay, corporate misfits, let's talk all about how to sell your digital product. Now, first things first, I want you to know if you do not have an entryway for people to get to this funnel, it is not going to work effectively. So you want to be able to get people to this actual funnel. And you can do that by providing free content, whether it is a lead magnet and you share about it through blogging or on Pinterest or on YouTube or through Facebook groups. You want to be able to really guide people so that you can get the traffic and get people to your actual program. Um, some of the other sources that you can use are podcasts or you can go and guest blog, things along those lines to help get that traffic and ultimately generate revenue. Okay, so Kajabi makes it super easy for you to sell your digital product. What we're going to do first is we're going to hop to the pipeline area where we're going to create your funnel. So we're gonna go to new pipeline and the really great part about this is that there's several different options for you to choose from in order to help you to be able to create a pipeline that works best for you. So maybe you wanna just start off with collecting emails. You're not ready to sell a product yet, but you wanna build your audience, which I do recommend. So you can start off by just creating a freebie and delivering that freebie after someone is to opt into the form. The great part is Kajabi lets you see what that roadmap would look like ahead of time so you can identify if that would be the great, a great fit for you. Now for the sales page OVO, this is where you might have someone opt into a freebie. It could be a audio, it could be a PDF or a worksheet of some sort. And after that, there's going to be emails that trigger and automate on the back end. And then you have them go to your sales page and eventually lead to checkout. Now the product launch OVO, this is one of my favorites. This is where you're going to provide some video content and value. And ultimately, as you are providing this information, you are taking your, your customers one step closer to actually buying your product. So you'll provide value in a video, value in another video, value in another video. You're even having some email automations taking place behind the scenes, and then eventually they lead to checkout. Now, if you like to do something called webinars, whether they are live or evergreen, whichever one works best for you, you are able to come and select the Zoom webinar OVO pipeline. And I'll also quickly show you some other pipelines if you are looking to do more evergreen style, or if you already have a video in place, you can just quickly upload it and replace the Zoom link with the link of where they're going to be going for that pre-recorded webinar. All right, so now let's look at the free book. This is another option that works. If you have a free book as an opt-in and you wanna to lead to check out from there and there's some emails triggering, you can do that as well. And lastly, there is the uh, coaching campaign OVO. So how that would work is it goes straight to a sales page, some emails, and then a thank you. And the other one, if you just want a simple sales page where it just goes to sales page and check out, you're good to go. So I want you to pick which one would work best for you. Now, there are some legacy pipelines depending on your account, and those legacy pipelines allow you to see some previous uh, pipelines that were in existence. So whether you were hosting a virtual summit 
or if you have a live event or if you have a webinar or a product launch or sales page or promotional offer or free reports, things like that, you can come and check those out. All right, so I love Jeff Walker. I have found his method to be really effective. If you're not familiar with who Jeff Walker is, he does something where he provides value in videos first, and then it ultimately leads to your product. Same thing with Brendan Brashear. He provides value in his videos first and then leads to his product by the third or the fourth day. So this is pretty popular in the online course and coaching world. And so I'm going to use this as a blueprint for us to work with, to ultimately sell to your mini course. Now, if you are great with making videos, you can get them done easily. It's not going to hold you back. This is a really great way to move forward with promoting your program. However, if you are finding that, Hey, it's going to take me way too long to make videos. I'm more of a, just make one video, write some information down and be done that's going to work best for you, then I want you to go with the sales page OVO. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with the product launch OVO. I'm going to select create pipeline, and we are just going to plug in the name of the pipeline and also choose the product that we have already created and connect it. So then as we're going through this pipeline, Kajabi is automatically sending them to the right place, the right checkout to the right sales page and all of that good stuff. So as this is loading for us, what you're going to see when it appears is you're going to see the pipeline fully laid out from start to finish. You'll see the email automations, you'll see where it begins and how people will get to your actual checkout from here. So it makes it really smooth and easy. And you don't have to worry about, am I doing this right? Because I've had many moments where I ask myself, am I doing this right? People have made funnels and the word pipeline so confusing over the years that so many people get scared that if they send people to their pipeline or their funnel, that things are going to not, they're not going to work. You're going to have broken links or you don't know how people get to the next page and it just creates a lot of confusion. So we're going to skip that because Kajabi makes it easy and we're going to basically walk you through how to get all those those things that you need behind the scenes so that you're not finding yourself like, what the heck am I doing? Okay. So your opt-in is where people are going to start in order for this particular video series to kick off. So once someone opts in, what you're going to do is you can decorate this and design this to your brand and your colors. You can change the description. You can also change the form by going to edit the forms and then selecting the form that it will connect to. And you don't have to worry about changing the call to action. It already is connected to go to the next pipeline. You can change the colors, but other than that, you don't need to change the particular um, link that's going on because it's going to the next pipeline step. Now, once you have that taken care of, you're going to hit save and you're going to make your way to the pipeline overview again. Now, the next thing that happens within this particular pipeline is going to be the email sequence. So this is taking place behind the scenes. So as soon as someone opts in, this automatically triggers and you don't have to worry about, did they get an email? It's automatically going to do it for you. So what happens first is Kajabi is going to give you some pre-written copy that you can work with. You'll definitely need to change these email subject lines. As you can see, they kind of just give you some suggestions, but you want to change them to fit your brand and your voice. So you can change that internal title, change the subject line, and then you can kind of work with the pre-written copy that Kajabi has given you to help inspire you on what to say and how to say it and all of that. It kind of guides you, like include some screenshots and all of that. Now, the great part is it's already linked to your particular videos that you're going to be releasing. You don't have to worry about linking it because it's already done. However, if you want to change that text, you would just go to this URL area and then change that text accordingly. Once you're done, you're going to hit save and you are good to go. Now there are series of emails within here. So I want you to go through all these different emails. There's some stuff that you might not want to have. You might find that there's too many emails. Maybe you want to sell this in a faster period of time versus selling it over, let's say 18 days. So you might want to sell this in a, a, a five day or a seven day time frame. I usually like to do five to seven day launches. And so if that's you too, then you could easily just go and change that. Now let's go and jump into the value area. 
Now, this is where you're going to add your pre-recorded videos here. These pre-recorded videos are going to provide value before someone actually joins your program. So let's say that you have a fitness program and you're going to be hosting a 21 day challenge for your mini course. And in the 21 days, you're going to be providing nutrition and workouts and things along those lines. So in your value one, value two, value three video, value one, you might start off with, let's identify what your goals are for your fitness and your, your nutrition goals. What are that? What is that? And what does that look like? And where are you currently at today? Now, the second thing you might do in your value two email is you might start to ask more questions about how did you get here? It's important for you to identify how someone got to this place so that they can be able to take it head on and really attack it and get the results that they want. And so you can maybe even share some takeaways that they can start implementing today to help them to change their life and so much more. Now on day three, you're going to provide some more value. It could be um, workouts, it could be a nutrition plan or anything along those lines. And then after that, you're gonna start to introduce your product. So I'm just using this as an example. I don't work in fitness. I don't work in nutrition. I'm just using it as an example for us to work with, but ultimately that will help you to be able to get started. Okay, so once we're in value one, we are going to change the title name. We can change this background color and then upload the video. So what Kajabi does is basically it will start to preview your videos that you have to allow your customers to be able to see your videos of what's coming next so that they can stay tuned during this process. So what you will do is you will change this video name. So all you have to do is hover over that title. You're going to change that video name to your liking. So where it says title, the text, you can change the label. You can also change the state. So it's active. That means video one is active. People can click on it. It's clickable, all of that. But when you get to day two and day three, you might want to lock those if you don't want people to automatically be able to get to that video um, right away in one day. Maybe you want it to be released one day at a time. So if that is the case, you're going to just make your way to lock video so that video is locked and people can't just click it, but you can still go ahead and plug in the thumbnails. You can plug in the title and you can go ahead and have that where it kind of previews and ultimately it does not show um, that it's clickable and that people can just jump to it. So then for here, you're going to also upload the video and that's going to have a thumbnail. I would recommend that you just create a simple thumbnail. Again, if you don't have any, check out our course creator pro where we have hundreds and hundreds of different um, Canva templates that you can use to help you quickly design your course or your landing pages and things along those lines. And so go and check that out. I'll leave that in the description below but you can just add your thumbnail here. And then ultimately you can change your play button and you're good to go. You're going to do that for all of your different pages and also hit save because don't be like me. I have not hit save on some things and I had to start from scratch. Um, we're going to make our way to value three. Now, when you go to value three, the thing about this is that it's going to now have a call to action button. It's no longer going to just, have the videos underneath. It's going to have a call to action button, which automatically goes to your checkout. Woo. You don't have to worry about doing a sales page because you provided value in your three days, but you can have it go to a sales page if you want. But in this pipeline, we're not going to implement that. We're just going to have it go straight to checkout. So once you have this completed, now we're making our way to the checkout area and we are going to now connect the checkout to this particular product and we're going to add our details, connect to Stripe and the PayPal. Right now I'm in a different account than what my normal account is, so I can't show you what that would look like. Um, but ultimately you're gonna connect to Stripe and PayPal. And then from there, you are going to change your pricing if you haven't already. You're going to change your thumbnail. You're gonna also include some of the information that might need to be included here, like limited offers or product access, after purchase, what needs to happen. If there's any automation, such as maybe you're sending an email, adding tags, things along those lines, you'll want to add that in. And then cart abandonment, this is where you want to include one hour, six hours, if any, and then hit edit reminder email template so you can customize it to your brand because it's very generic if you don't. If you had upsells, we can add that here, but currently right now there's no upsells to add in this dummy account that I'm in. 
And then once you are done, you're gonna hit save. And there you go. So if you want to do that with other pipelines, you're gonna go through the same process. I want you to do this. Go through the emails and really make sure that the emails are in a time frame of what you would like. So if Kajabi has it spread out over 18 days and that's not what you want, go ahead and change those days accordingly and change the titles and really make it your own. But that is it. You're going to do that for all of the pipelines and you're going to go and fill in the blanks. And basically Kajabi is going to have all of the steps connected for you. Again, you can sell your digital product with ease. You just need to get people to your actual entryway to where your digital product starts, whether that's a lead magnet. You want to also provide some free content out into the world to where people are able to connect with you and really see the value that you provide and ultimately want to work with you, whether that's through podcasts, YouTube, Pinterest, or maybe you're in Facebook groups or you are guest blogging or doing live events, whatever it may be, you really want people to see that value and ultimately be led to your overall, your funnel that you have going on. Okay, so have fun selling on Kajabi. I don't know about you, but I get excited about sales and revenue, so have fun doing that. Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you access your trial to Kajabi and those free amazing resources that we have for you, such as the pre-designed landing pages and the mini course on how to launch your first course in just 30 days. Okay, I'll see you in some of the upcoming videos.